Hello and a very pleasant uh, good evening ladies and gentlemen and uh, welcome back to the Cocaine Arena. This is the final game of day three of the round robin portion of uh, the 2022 Don Johnson Cup. Roger Sark calling the play by play. We've got the Kent Coyotes uh, facing the Mount Pearl Blades. Uh, the Blades come into this game with a record of one and one. Losing earlier today to the Antigonish Bulldogs for nothing. So they're looking to finish this day off with a 500 record. The Ken Coyotes, on the other hand, they've got a record of 0-2 with two heartbreaking losses. French. Shot save by the starting netminder for the Coyotes. That is uh, Zachary Leblanc, who was in goal on Tuesday night's 3-2 uh, shootout loss against the Moncton Vitos. And also last night, the Coyotes lost uh, to the Sherwood Metros 4-3. The game-winning goal was scored with 8.2 seconds left in the third period. Starting in goal for the Blades, it is number 31, Andrew Dontremont. Puck is flipped into the neutral zone. French, too far for him. Flynn, bouncing puck, Q can't get to it. Coyotes regain control in their own zone. Alex Ferguson gets bumped, still has control of the puck, sends it in to the blade zone. Short, quick passes, Q. Collins circles around the net, centering pass that's tipped that gets to Bartlett at the blue line. Pass over to the far side that goes underneath the blade of the stick of Collins. Miguel Richard. Richard stopped at the blue line. Collins. He gets bumped and pushed away by Poirier. Book walks in. Book takes a shot that was blocked off the stick of Bartlett. Opportunity here, Sonia fans on the shot who took the pass into the high slot. It's a hosh paw. Poirier down the wing, he's got Sonia. Sonia plays it off the inside of his stick, has to bring it down low to Poirier. Moore walks in. Lost the puck, it's a hosh paw. Knight. Puck glove put down by Hardy in the neutral zone. Sends it in, offside is called against the Blades. Leblanc, Robert, 
Rifles the puck in deep to the blade zone. Savoie. And uh, we got a hand pass, a stoppage in play. 2.48 gone by here in this first. Joshua Bro serving the second game of his two-game suspension is not playing tonight. Number 13, Savoie in in his stead. Bro will be eligible to return tomorrow night against the Antigonish Bulldogs, the lone team, who is what a solid hit at the blue line, Robert. Put Chislet down. Noah Hardy. Short pass, looking for Q, Chislet. Hardy. The Blades looking for an opening. Missing on the pass, here comes Q. Two on three, Q elects to shoot. Blocked by J Jeremy Leblanc. On the rebound, Zachary Leblanc makes the save, keeps the puck. Face off will be to the right of Leblanc. March, Bartlett, shot that's off the foot of Arsenault. Knight, along the boards, Bartlett rifles it. That's blocked in front. It's dropped off by Knight. Pastarache will send the puck around the boards deep into the blade zone. Coyotes regrouping in neutral ice. Arsenault, over to Pastarache. Back to Arsenault. Arsenault finds an opening, walks in, takes the shot. That's blocked. Puck is loose. It gets to the blue line. Pastarache is there. Looking for some options. Goes down the wing. Centering pass. Blocked. Bouncing puck. Roy. Blades trying to bring it up in transition. That's March. Jayet, Gould, Bastarache, lead pass down the pike. Finding Roy, he loses the puck, trying to thread the needle between two defenders. French, Nicholas French, shot, save by Leblanc. Coyotes back up, cutting to the outside. That is Miguel Richard, and Ferguson on the wing. Richard loses the puck behind the net. Lead pass to the outside, and it's an odd man, it's a break. Quick tack pass over the middle, great save by LeBlanc. Beautiful pass by Sahaj Paul. Over to Alexander French. Richard, Ferguson, he gets a shot, doesn't get to the net. Sahaj Paul. The Hodgeball can't get around the defender. Great defensive play by Drisdel. Lead pass. Finding Saunier on the wing. His shot, that's just wide. Grabbing the puck, Poirier loses it quickly. Now back up. Here comes the Blades. Getting around the defender. Shot, that rolls just wide. May have hit the outside of the post. Kiel with an opportunity. Kiel. Millie. Back to the captain, Keel. Backs up just past center ice. Collins on the near side, flips it down the middle. Chance here, the shot goes high over the glass and out of play. That went off the stick of Rowe. Thirteen forty-five left in the first period. No score, but fast-paced action. Rowe will take the draw against Casey.
Savoie. Odette. Trying to get around the defender. Great defensive play by Millie. Puck behind the net. Savoie. Odette down low, shot. And that goes uh, into the glove of Dantremont. Dantremont comes up big here in this first period. From point blank range, Odette. Bartlett comes back behind his own net, looking for Flynn. Adette in control of the puck. Adette fans on the pass at the blue line. Arsenault shot. Save made by Dontremont. Dontremont leaves the puck for Flynn. Lead pass over to Moore. Moore. Walks in just inside the blue line. He'll send it down low. Chance here for Chislet. That puck is tipped away. And the whoop sends it to neutral ice. The Blades will send it back out. But icing is called against Mount Pearl. With 12.34 left here in this first 20. So the Blades have a record of one and one. Their lone win came against the Sherwood Metros. They'll play tomorrow after, uh, they'll finish off the round robin tomorrow afternoon, 4 o'clock, 4.30, if you're watching from The Rock in Newfoundland. They'll play the Moncton Vitos. The Vitos won earlier today by the score of 6-2 to two against the Sherwood Metros. Mayette. Jayette takes the puck out. What finds Gould? Gould goes try to go east-west and then thread the needle, but that puck is poked away by O'Toole Ditto. Robert into neutral ice. It is Gould. Puck got stuck on the ice. Had to readjust. Robert, his shot saved Dantremont. Now bringing it up is Hardy. His dumping was blocked, and Richard will send it in. Leblanc, lead pass off the skate of Richard. Richard in. Puck poked away. Rabat can't get to it. Leblanc forced to go back deep in his own zone. Lead pass down the middle. Was it touch off the skate of Richard? Linesman says no. Icing called against the Coyotes. office to the right of Zachary Leblanc. Ben sends it deep in the Coyotes zone. Lead pass is off the hand of Poirier. Poirier over to Basque's shot. Save Dantremont. Basque. The Blades. It's March. Ben. Puck into the Coyote bench. 10-31. Left here in this first period. No score between the Mount Pearl Blades and the Kent Coyotes. Final game with day three action of the Don Johnson Memorial Cup. Here at, here at beautiful southeastern New Brunswick. Well, we could say it's been rainy for the last couple of days. It's still a beautiful spot, though. Collins pushes the puck once again in his own zone. Flynn has to go behind his own net. Flynn blows a tire. Chance here for the Coyotes. Adet gets sandwiched. Book 
Sends the puck in once again. Now Flynn slowing things down. Rowe. Lead well, pass looking for Q. Q's got it down the wing. Shot wide. And that'll go around. Bartlett keeps it at the blue line. Puck tipped by Book. Savoie has the puck in his skates. Taken out by Rowe. And the Coyotes will just rifle the puck down. And icing will be called against the Kent Coyotes. Face off to the right of LeBlanc. French. Seeing eye shot that bounces wide. Jayet. Robert. He'll flip the puck into the blade zone, and that took a weird hop and hit Dontremont's blocker, and he had to freeze it. Off the draw, Rabau looking for an opening. His shot blocker saved Dontremont. Bouncing puck. Down low, shot wide, Jayet. Puck flipped high, glove down by LeBlanc. French shot scores! Alex French goes roof daddy. Just pass of LeBlanc's glove, and the Mount Pearl Blades are on the board. They lead 1-0 with 9.02 left in the first. Bastarash. Asano. Pass tipped in by Ferguson. Richard will get to it first. O'Toole did him. At his heels, quick shot. Cedric Bastarash. Save made Dontremont. Bastarash, his shot that goes wide. Ferguson. Ferguson circles up top, still in control of the puck. Bastarash. Quick shot by Arsenault that's off the stick, over the glass, and out of play. Face off to the right of Dontremont. Saunier. Gets kicked out of the face-off circle. Basque and Poirier on the line. Poirier now to take the draw against Q. Bouncing puck. Rolls into the neutral zone. Looking for Collins on the long pass that goes behind him, and icing is called against Mount Pearl. Must win game for the Coyotes. Two losses, one of them in a shootout. They got one point. They need this win in, re in regulation time to at least give them a chance going into the final day. Book. Sonier goes to Basque in the slot. That puck is poked away. Puck tipped into the neutral zone. Bastarache fans on it. Zachary Leblanc plays it over the glass and out of play.
Leblanc. Robert. Ferguson. Wax the puck into the Coyotes zone. Into the Blade zone shot. Rebound scores! Cedric Bastarache on a rolling puck. Puts it over the shoulder of Dontremont. And we are tied at one. Robert lost the puck in his skates and a chance here more with the shot. Puck is still up high and that gets past Millie. Icing called. Face off to the right. of Zachary Leblanc, Bastarache. Arsenault. Plays it off the boards. Casey down the wing. The puck is stopped at the blue line. It gets back into the neutral zone. Arsenault. Arsenault fakes the shot, sends it cross ice too far for a debt. Leblanc. Over to Savoie. Savoie can't play the puck that was blocked down the neutral zone. Knight tips it into the Coyotes zone. Le Zachary Leblanc comes out of his net just a little bit. Plays the pass off the back end. Finds Savoie. KC. Moore. Puck is poked into neutral ice. Coyotes will regroup. It's Arsenault. The Bastarache. Lead pass that's off the skate of Savoie. KC. Down low, chance here, scores! That is what? Nice dangle in front of Dontremont. And the Coyotes have a 2-1 lead. Samuel Roy gets the second goal for the Coyotes. And the Coyotes keep pressing Roy with his shot over the glass and out of play. That was deflected off of a Blades defender stick. Off the draw, quick shot. Save Dontremont. Gould in the slot. Jayesh shot is wide. Gould shot block. Jayet back to Gould shot that goes off the skate of Roy, who was in front of the net. Lead pass cross ice finding French. He'll send the puck around the boards deep in the Coyotes zone. Leblanc comes out to play the puck. Chayette looking for goal down the middle. French coming back. Alex French. Sorry, that's Nicholas French. Alex French now with the puck. Bartlett sends it over to the corner. Nicholas French. Puck kept in. Coyotes regain control. Leblanc. Leblanc to the outside. Alex French just brings him down, and we got a penalty coming up against the Blades, and the call is for interference. Here's 520 left in period one. First power play of the
2-1. And shorthanded here. Richard Bastarash. Rabat back to Bastarash. Bastarash looking to slow things down behind the net. Rabat. Lead pass. Ferguson blows a tire at center right. Still had control of the puck. He's looking for Gould. Rabat once again backs up just a little bit, playing in his final season of junior hockey. Gould. To the outside, he gets rubbed by Millie. Ferguson. In his wheelhouse over to Richard. Richard. Bastarash. Rabat. Back to Bastarash. Cross ice and Richard fans on the one timer. Rabat. Ferguson. Ferguson, his shot that's off the foot of Millie. 55 seconds to go in the Coyote power play. Richard, Rabat. Ferguson, looking for those options. Bastarash takes the shot, sends it cross ice that bounces over the stick of Ferguson, and the Blades will take the opportunity off the stick of Millie to send the puck into the Coyote zone. Line change on both sides. Rabat. We'll leave the puck for Leblanc. Julien Leblanc over to Basque. Puck is poked away by Knight. Leblanc. Casey. Casey to Basque. Around the boards. Poirier. Ten seconds to go here in the Coyote power play. They have to regroup in neutral ice. Casey. Back to Leblanc. Leblanc. He'll bring it in. Turns. Sony at the blue line. Penalty is over, back at even strength. Coyotes here could get caught. They've got four forwards on the ice. Leblanc, low shot, save, rebound. KC was trying to chip in to try to punch in that rebound, but it got poked away. French, tonight, backhand pass. It goes too far for French. French shot is high. Nicholas French, who found the back of the net, Send that one high over the glass and out of play. Faceoff will be in a neutral zone with 2.53 left here in the first. <laughs> Off the draw, a debt. Bringing it up as Rob out. He'll just send it in deep. Those to the right of Dontremont. Row. Chips it off the glass. Bastarash. Row blocks it, blocks it, sends the puck towards the blow, and he just shovels it away. Row still in control of the puck. Q. Down low shot. What a save by LeBlanc. Sprawling to his right. And with a little bit of the scorpion kick. Face off to the right of Leblanc. Blades thought for certain that they had tied this game. Q. Book lost his stick. Row. Back to Q. Bouncing puck. That'll go wide to the far corner. Book. Bartlett keeps it in. Moore gets tied up. Chance here for Rowe. Q. We're looking for Moore in the slot. Q still in control of the puck. That puck is down low. Moore sends that one wide. Richard. Cross ice, Cedric Bastarash. Twin brother Yannick played for the Grand Falls Rapids of the Maritime Hockey League. Bartlett. Flynn, Flynn finds an opening, goes east-west. 
Centering pass, Knight at the top of the slot, shot that's blocked in front, rebound, and that bounces wide. Asano, French, walks in, gets by Bastarache, cross ice, that goes behind Knight, shot, save Leblanc! Leblanc got back in position and deflected off of his glove. Millie, down to the last minute here in the first period. Alex French. Knight. Nicholas French. Cross ice. Looking for Alex. Puck is flipped in by Chayette. Bounces to the corner. Down low, Jayette sends it to the blue line for Hua. Rolling puck. Poirier. Jayette. Battle along the corner. Puck will come into the Coyote zone. Leblanc comes out of his net and he'll play it. Around the other side, Leblanc. Poirier in neutral zone, bounce. And the last seconds will come off the clock. Here on a fast-paced first period, the Coyotes got two unanswered in the middle uh, in the middle part of the period. They lead two to one after 20 minutes of play. Shots on goal after the first period, 11-10 in favor of uh, the Coyotes. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be back with second period action coming up here at the Cocaine Arena. The host Coyotes lead two nothing against the Mount Pearl Blades. And you are watching the 2022 Don Johnson Memorial Cup Atlantic Junior B Hockey Championships here in Cocaine, New Brunswick. Everyone was going out west, run away from the girlfriend, chase the job and the big buck. You could not blame them. But you know why they always come back? Donair. Out west, there's Donair to go for the good food. <coughs> when the plane landed at Aeroport Romeo, you could almost smell the Donair in the hair. Just crave that mystery meat with the sweet, sweet sauce. The first bite after you come home, that's Worry Paw in the pita right there. Get some more Worry Paw feeling with Vieno Insurance. Visit GoVieno.com. Worry Paw.
start of the second period. Here for the Kent Coyotes with the puck, they lead two to one after 20 minutes. Kiel. Flips the puck that gets past Robau, but LeBlanc is there to cover. Trying to find Rowe. Jayette over to Roy. Robau. Cross ice, oh, nearly intercepted by Moore. Puck is back into the blade zone. Puck is flipped, bouncing puck scores! That puck had eyes, and that is a goalie's worst nightmare. Loveless. Certainly not happy with that. And the Coyotes get a lucky bounce, three to one. Asano, backing up. Asano gets it back, lead pass. It's off the stick of Richard. Puck is flipped by Bastarache. Samuel Roy gets credit with the goal, his second of the night. Off the net, Ferguson in front of Loveless. And Loveless will glove it. And he keeps the puck. Face off will be to the left of Loveless. Puck is in the skate, Sonier trying to get it out, Poirier at the blue line that's kept in by Book. The blades will come up, French, Alex French, pass that's in the skates of Book and now bringing it up is Poirier, Miguel Poirier, the former Yarmouth Mariner score! Quick shot! Finds the back of the net. And Dontremont on the bench, starting to put on his blocker, his trapper, and gets the stick. And uh, Loveless will get the hook here with 1.56 gone by in the second period. Blades will call their timeout. Trying to settle things down here. Still a lot of hockey left to play, but it's been all Coyotes. Nicholas French got the first goal of the game, and it's the lone goal for the Blades, but then after that, it's been all Coyotes. Two goals by Roy. Also, Cedric Bastarache and Miguel Poirier has found, the, has found Twine in the back of the net. After the timeout, 4-1 Coyotes. LeBlanc, Robert, Ferguson. Ferguson will send the puck in deep. He's got Casey and Richard. Sorry, it's Savoie on his line. Mario Cormier mixing up the lines just a bit. 
Ici, Ferguson lets it go. Le Blanc shot. Save Dontremont. And Dontremont gets tested early here in this middle frame. Battling for the puck. Rub out at the blue line. Jayet got stripped. Here comes an odd man rush for the blades. That shot goes wide. Jayet down the wing. Shot, glove save. Dontrema. Face-off will be to the right of Dontremont. Bastarache. Over to Richard. Ferguson. Slips off a check. Shot blocker save. Ferguson. Richard. At the blue line, Bastarash can't keep it. He blows the tire. It's a hot spot. And a great defensive play by Arsenault. Ferguson taps it over to Richard. Richard, his shot blocked by, by Millie. And a collision open ice. Millie and Bastarash Millie will be called and we got a retaliatory penalty coming up here. A little bit of pushing and shoving after the whistle. Brandon Knight down low. So now the Coyotes here are going to call a timeout. Here on the power play with 16-16 left in the second period, leading 4-1. Head coach Mario Carme talking to a couple of the officials. <laughs> Thinking that hit could have been a little high, but a power play nonetheless here for the Kent Coyotes. So now just here a bit of delay for those who have just joined us during our other games in, the tri uh, in our triple header. The Mount Pearl Blades lost earlier today against the Antigonish Bulldogs by the score of 4-0. In the middle game of our triple header, the Moncton Vitos defeated the Sherwood Metros at 6-2. And currently in this game, in the early stages of this of this second period, the, Monk, the Kent Coyotes currently lead 4-1. to one. 
So it's a two minute minor and a 10 minute misconduct penalty. Puck in the Coyote zone, Leblanc. Bastarache, French, got the brunt end of that hit. Blades will get the puck out of their own zone. Puck stays behind the net. Bastarache with the puck. Rabao. Slows things down at the blue line. That puck is tipped in the slot by Gould. The game's starting to get a little, a little, uh, a little chippy. That shot, wraparound shot goes wide. Bartlett. Raba. Over to Eddie Shaw. Raba. He'll send the puck in. It goes off the blocker of Dontrema. Eddie Shaw can't play the puck at the blue line. Asano Basque. Eddie Shaw. Puck somehow gets to the net. Was deflected off of Alex French. Dontrema makes the save. He keeps the puck. 19 seconds left here in the Coyote power play. His shot blocked. Rabat. Pass. Pass was intercepted. Shot hit the outside of the net. Rowe got the interception. Leblanc. Bad angled shot. That's high. Savoie bouncing puck. Circles around. To the corner. We're back at even strength. Casey over to Rabat. Fakes the shot, looking for options. Finds Roy. He's got two here this evening. Leblanc. Shot high over the glass. Ferguson. Richard behind the net. Centers it up front for Bastarash. But Dontremont makes the save. Face off once again to the right of Dontremont. Puck is pushed up by Rowe, Chislett. Knight. Puck goes in the penalty box. Thirteen thirty-six left in the second. The Montag Dogi ce soir, huit cent soixante et douze dollars. Winning amount this evening is eight hundred and seventy-two dollars. Cross ice. Asano brings it in. Gets bumped by Flynn. Asano trying to send it into the slot. Ferguson is there. His shot is high. Off the glass. Asano trying to play it. Flynn is there as well. Pushes it over to the over to the boards. Chislet. Asano 
Can't play the puck. Now it's a foot race. Bastarach has a couple steps in front of Moore. Chance here now for the Blaze. A shot by Bartlett is blocked. Ferguson down the wing. Ready Shaw. Ferguson. Bouncing puck. Bartlett circles behind the net. Bartlett still in control of the puck. Chislett chips it into the Coyotes zone and they say icing is called. Right off the draw, Sonia pushed it over. Dontremont will make the save. He keeps the puck. Face off once again to the right of Dontremont. Over to the blue line. Book. Up last touched by Collins. Down low, Don Tremont. Keeps the puck once again. Mayette, his shot blocked by Marsh. Book, puck played along the boards. Basque falls to the ice. Puck comes back into the Coyote zone. Icing is called here against the Blades. 12 or four left. In the second period, pace has slowed down significantly after the Coyotes' fourth goal. Off the draw, Rabat. Looking for Lebna on the near side. Gets to it on the second try. Wap, puck is in his skate, shot, save, rebound, scores! Gould, Johnny on the spot, 5-1. Pass intercepted by French, and he walks in, but it's offside against the Blades. The second meeting by the number 21, Sebastian Gould. Rabat. Rabat keeps the puck in. Now it's the Blades trying to get something going. Lead pass. Finding Knight. French. Puck stripped away by Savoie. Savoie avoids the check. Went low. French flipped over him. Rabat. High bouncing pass that goes behind KC Bartlett. Around the boards for Flynn. Flynn collides with Cedric Bastarach. Alex French pushes Arsenault. KC tips the puck in. Dontremont will keep the puck. Sarash 
over to Ferguson. Blocker saved by Dontremont. Ferguson gets his own rebound. Over to Eddie Shaw. Flynn puts on the brakes. Lead pass, Rowe. Rowe will bring it up. Rowe over to the outside. Shot, save LeBlanc. Good shot taken by Jack Keel. O'Toole did him. Sony. Book. Basque. Sony. Trying to send it cross ice. To Poirier. Basque. Hardy. Roll. Moore. Hardy. This shot saved LeBlanc. And he sends that rebound over to the far boards. We got a penalty coming up, and it'll be against the Coyotes, and it'll be for a hook. 9.33 left, and the Blades will have the power play and try and get something going here on offense. Buck is rifled down 200 feet by the Coyotes. Off the draw, Flynn. Will settle things here for the Blades in their own zone. Over to Rowe, the cross ice pass for Nicholas French that goes off his stick and into the bench. Puck flipped off the draw into the Coyotes bench. We'll do it all over again. Took all two seconds off the clock. Rowe. French. Alex Fr uh, Nicholas French. Over to Rowe. Back to Nick French. Rowe at the blue line. Flynn is shot. That puck is tipped in the at, in front. Knight couldn't put the puck in. Couldn't get a stick on it. Flynn. Low shot. Save LeBlanc. 8.36 left in the second period. 104 to go in the Blades power play. Blades, Nick French in his own zone. Over to Rowe. Rowe will bring it down the middle. Cuts to the near side and he gets pushed to the boards on a solid hit by Alexis Mayet. And Mayet will send the puck deep into the Blades zone. Nathan Flynn. Looking for Nick French. And the Coyotes will send the puck once again down to the blade zone. Casey got hit in the process while he was sending the puck out. Oh, 
And a penalty here coming up, and it'll be for tripping against the Coyotes. It'll be a brief six-second five-on-three power play for the Blades. And that'll be Bastarash going to the Sinbin. Face-off was to the right of LeBlanc. First penalty is over. Now five on four power play. Hardy. Sahash Paul. Chislet. Hardy. He's got Flynn on the other side. He's been on the ice for a long time. Hardy, his shot was blocked up front. And Hardy can't keep it in. That was played off the glass. Dontremont. That's the puck roll behind the net. Flynn. It's a hash pop. Circles around. Moore. At center ice. Moore goes east-west. Trying to cut to the middle in the offensive zone, loses the puck. Coyotes will send it back into the blade zone. 55 seconds left in the Mount Pearl power play. 6.30 to go in the second period. The Coyotes hold a 5-1 lead here against the Blades. Q. His shot that goes wide. French was going to the net. Q. Puck stripped the weight. Getting by is Ferguson. And now Ferguson comes in. Gets the puck. His pass. Great sliding play by Flynn. Mayette. The neutral ice. Looks at the clock. 15 seconds left on the Blades power play. He sends it in deep. Flynn over to Sahash Paul. That's intercepted by Mayette. Mayet walks in, shot, blocker save, Dontremont. Hardy, Sahash Paul, gets by Cedric Bastarash. Back at even strength, cross ice pass, looking for Knight that goes off the blade of his stick. He passed, that's off the skate of Bastarash. And icing is waved off, Hardy. Lead pass, Rabat gets the puck in his own zone. Hardy, he'll flip the puck in deep, Rabat. Pass intercepted by Knight, down low, that shot went wide. The Blazers were trying to put traffic in front of LeBlanc. Less than five to go here in the second. Chance here, that shot wide, that's off the stick of Knight. O'Toole did him. Puck chip to the neutral ice. Book. Best. Bartlett. Bartlett fans on the pass. Poitier trying to regain control of the puck. Bartlett just chipping it away. Bartlett will send it behind the net. Knight. Poitier trying to tie him up. Both players to the ice. Asano tees it up. That's blocked in front. Puck is loose. It goes to the corner. Sonia in the slot for Bas. Backhand shot. That's wide. Rabat keeps it in. He'll send it to the far corner. Takes a, he takes a hefty bounce. Collins lead pass. That's tipped in by Knight. He couldn't play the puck. It, if it would have went directly on his stick, he would have had a breakaway. Basque. O'Toole did him, plays him on the boards. Basque still in control of the puck. Poirier. Sonier. Over to Basque. Trying to leave it for Asano, but didn't have enough mustard. Alex French finds March. French. 
Backhander that will go over to the near side. Alex French. Hardy. Offside called with 3.01 to go in the middle frame. the puck off the pass of Mayette. Down low. Opportunity. Flint. Brings it up. Trying to thread the needle. Lost the puck. Basque. Jayet. Jayet shot. Blocker save. Hardy. Puts on the brakes. Hardy behind his own net. Turns, spins. Nick French. Lead cross ice pass. Puck is sent in once again into the blade zone. Dontremont will keep the puck. Neutralize Robert. Lead pass to Leblanc. Leblanc sends it cross ice looking for Bastarache. Cedric Bastarache goes for the wraparound, scores! Cedric Bastarache, his second of the night. And it is 6 1 for the Coyotes. Robert, Leblanc, Richard, brings it in, up shots off the stick over the glass and out of play, 139 left in the second period. Alex Ferguson gets credit of the goal, Cédric Pastarache gets the assist. Le Blanc. Roy. In the corner. Battle in the corner. Le Blanc. Sends it down low. Shot save. And we got a stoppage in play. And now. Dontremont got bumped, and now that is going to invite a skirmish here. And that was Roy and Knight. Officials are going to sort this out.
All of this with 116 left in the second. So Knight, as well as Watt, will both go to their respective dressing rooms, as well as uh, Julien Leblanc. Oh, Leblanc is coming back. So it looks like it'll be it could be coincidental minors. Nope, it's going to be a two-minute power play for Mount Pearl. Row over to Flint. Alex French. Flint back to Alex French. Down low, Nicholas French. Nick French. Oh, centering pass that went through the blue paint. The Blades. We'll bring it up. It's Flynn. Long cross ice pass finds Nick French. French shot. Save Leblanc. And he'll keep the puck with 32.1 seconds left in the second period. 117 to go in the blade power play. Alex French. In control of the puck, down low. In the corner, Nick French finding the row, but that's off his stick. And up on the rush, that is Sonier. Sonier tried to toe drag, and the shot goes wide. Quickly up, it's the Blades. Centering pass off the glass. Shot by Flint. Hardy will let the puck roll as time expires here. The second period that has been all Coyotes. They get three goals in the middle frame and they lead 6-1 after 40 minutes of play. But the Blaze will have a power play for the first 43 seconds of the third period. We'll be back in approximately 15 minutes time and with the Blaze trailing 6-1 against the Kent Coyotes. And you are watching the 2022 Don Johnson Memorial Cup here in Cocaine, New Brunswick. Everyone was going out west, run away from the girlfriend, chase the job and the big buck. You could not blame them. But you know why they always come back? Donair. Out west, there's Donair to go for the good food. <coughs> when the plane landed at Aeroport Romeo, you could almost smell the Donair in the hair. Just crave that mystery meat with the sweet, sweet sauce. The first bite after you come home, that's Worry Paw in the pita right there. Get some more Worry Paw feeling with Vieno Insurance. Visit GoVieno.com. Worry Paw.
Ready for the start of the third period here at the Cocaine Arena. Final game of uh, day three of the 2022 Don Johnson Cup, where the Kent Coyotes lead 6 1 after 40 minutes of play. Roger Sarek calling the play by play. Glad you could join us here this evening on the Don Johnson Cup website. And Blades on the power play. French shot. That's tip went wide. LeBlanc will jump on the puck. And a little bit of pushing and shoving here after the whistle cue. As well as LeBlanc. Loveless back in goal for the Blades. Started this game, gave up four goals in just under 22 minutes and was replaced by Andrew Dontremont, who gave up two goals in 18. Flint. The puck goes over to the corner. LeBlanc will play it along the boards. The last seconds will come off the clock. We're back at even strength. Millie, French, gets it, shot high, that's off the crossbar, over the glass and out of play. the draw. Rowe trying to shovel in the rebound. Rowe with the puck once again. Over to Bartlett. His wrist shot that's tipped that goes wide. Sahaj Paul behind the net. Over to Bartlett. That puck is played off the boards. Lively boards here at the Cocaine Arena. Row. Alexi Mayette strips the puck. He's behind his own net. Trying to find Alex Ferguson on the wing is too far for him. Richard collides with the Moore. And then Richard got the brunt end of that one. Row behind the net. And he pushes Row around. Bartlett over to Row. Sahash Paul. Rowe has shot, saved by LeBlanc, and that puck goes over the glass and out of play. Action will start once tomorrow afternoon at 12 noon at Atlantic, 12.30 if you're in Newfoundland. Final, game, final day of the round robin portion of the 2022 Don Johnson Memorial Cup with the Antigonish Bulldogs on the ice facing the Sherwood Metros 
while uh, the representatives of Newfoundland, the Mount Pearl Blades, will be playing at 4 p.m., 4.30 on the Rock, and they will face the Moncton Vitos. Flint gets bumped by Basque. Low shot, that's tipped, that goes wide. Poitier was in front. Poitier trying to tie up the defender. Ch shot here, that's blocked. Alex French plays the body, Asano. Q with the puck, goes for the wraparound, centering pass, that's too far for Nick French. Leblanc from his defense position will bring it up on the rush. Centering pass, that's too far for KC. KC threads the needle, lost the puck. Alex French, he'll flip the puck just inside the blue line. Now Rabat trying to catch Mount Pearl on their heels. Jayet. Nick French. Quick shot, save, rebound, scores! <laughs> Loveless got a piece of it. That rebound goes directly onto the blade of the stick of Jayet. And he puts it in the back of the net and it's 7-1. about book puck tipped in by Cedric Bastarache puck tied up on the boards book that shot goes wide puck comes into the coyote zone book rope gets to the puck at the same time Ferguson Short tap pass over to Richard. Richard puts on the brakes and he gets bumped by Tilly. Sorry, that's uh, Hardy. Hardy flips that puck in deep. Mayette. Mayette gets sandwiched. A chance here. It's Basque on the breakaway. Basque try to go for the dangle move. A little bit of too much dipsy, not enough do. Basque, his pass over to Savoie, save made by Loveless. Puck into the corner. And the play will be blown dead with 15-11 left in the third period. Coyotes in the driver's seat, leading 7-1. And they'll play their final round-robin game tomorrow night against the undefeated Antigonish Bulldogs, who are currently 2-0, but the Bulldogs have two games to play tomorrow. One against the Sherwood Metros, that game at 12 o'clock Atlantic time, and the final game at 7.30 Atlantic. Arsenault. Mayet. Cross ice too far for everybody. Flint backs up in his own zone. March. March. Poitier trying to strip the puck away. We got a penalty coming up, and it'll be against Poitier for a hook. And Poitier may have said something to some of the players on the bench at the Blades, and they were none too happy with that. Leblanc. 
Flynn can't keep the puck in the blue line. Millie. Jared Millie behind his own net. Setting things up here with the man advantage here for the Blades. It's a hosh ball. Loss of puck along the boards. The Coyotes will just send it down. Millie. Take two for the Blades. This time goes near side, finds Moore. Moore will bring it in. Moore still in control of the puck. Moore gets pushed briefly off the puck by LeBlanc. But the Blades trying to keep it in the offensive zone. They do more. And play is blown dead due to a hand pass. One oh six to go in the Poitiers Minor. Book. Old tool diddle. Nick French. He goes east west. Backhand shot, that's high. Hardy at the blue line. Nick French. To Alex French, back to Nick French. Bouncing pass that goes over the stick of Rowe and the Coyotes will send the puck 200 feet. 25 seconds to go in the blade power play. Nick French. Goes over to the far side, gets by the defender once again. This time he goes forehand, and a save made by Zachary Leblanc. Bastarash. Buck is kept in at the blue line. Good battle, that's Rowe. Penalty is over, we're back at even strength. Leblanc, Arsenault. Leblanc once again, Cédric Bastarache. O'Toole did him. Shot, that's off the foot of Leblanc. Nick French. Now Cédric Bastarache, that's off his skate into the neutral zone. O'Toole did him. Hardy. Nick French will flip the puck in deep. Francis Robert. Near side, Leblanc. Julien Leblanc, shot, save, Loveless. Bouncing puck gets into the neutral zone. Basque. Over the Poirier, save Leblanc, and that goes over the glass and out of play. Faceoff will be in the blade zone with 11.42 left in the third. In the slot, quick pass. But Loveless finds a way to slide to his right to make the save. Blades will bring it up, it's Flynn. Lead pass, that's intercepted by Robert. Miguel Poirier in the slot. His quick shot, that's blocked. Getting in front of it was Bartlett. 
Marsh. The puck pushed away by LeBlanc. Roll. Sonia. Lead pass that goes behind Basque. And a nice and called. 10.54 to go. Here in the third. This shot pushed away by LeBlanc. He'll shovel it behind the net on the bouncing rebound in front. Gould. It's by Marsh. In the neutral zone, Savoie. He'll send it around deep into the Blades' territory. Marsh. Center ice, leaves it for Rowe, bouncing puck. We got a penalty coming up. And the call here is for a cross check. And it's Jeremy Jayet in the box. The Coyote captain puts his team shorthanded here with team 10-19 left in the third. Paul, Q, and Knight up front with Millie and Flynn on the blue line for this power play. Sahash Paul. Millie, Flynn. Flynn, his wrist shot that's tipped in front by Leblanc. Got the time to shovel it over to the corner. Q, Flynn shot, save Leblanc. Long rebound. Coyotes will get it into the neutral zone. It's LeBlanc. And a puck was blocked as LeBlanc was trying to dump it in towards Loveless. Knight walks in. Knight can't get a shot. Over to Millie. Millie gets it back from Flynn. Flynn and Millie transfer over. Flynn on the near side, cross ice, that's off the skate of French. It's a hosh ball. Nick French, that was shot save. Puck goes over the glass and out of play. 41 seconds to go in the Jaya Minor, 8.59 left in the third. Ferguson, puck chip to the blue line. It's O'Toole Diddle. Alex French. O'Toole Diddle. Back to Alex French. Loses the puck just outside the faceoff circle. Alex French. Rowe. His shot glove save LeBlanc. That puck came out, but the official blew it dead. <laughs> O'Toole did him. Row. Up top, low shot, that was Hardy. Rowe, 
Penalty is over. We're back at even strength. That pass that goes in between the legs of Hardy. Cheating in from, his deep, from the D position. Hardy gets the puck in his own zone. Gould is hot on his heels. Eight minutes left in the third period. The Kent Coyotes lead 7-1. For them, this was a must-win game. And they have made a statement. LeBlanc, he'll send the puck. Loveless keeps it aside. But they got a rush. Rowe puts on the brakes. Hardy over to Rogers. LeBlanc back in once again. Loveless pushes it, pushes it over to Flynn. Flynn on the rush. Can't get by Robin. Poirier. Poirier over to Basque. Basque. Poirier behind the net. Over to Savoie. Savoie tied up. Mayet. Off the boards, Moore. Moore can't get around the defender, has to go to the corner. And we got a penalty coming up. And a call here is for roughing that happened behind the play. And it'll be Miguel Poirier going to the box with 6.36 left. Coyotes get the puck out of their own zone off the draw. Knight. Knight. Locks in. Knight still in control of the puck. Down low to Moore. Q. Over to Flynn. Flynn gets it back. From Bartlett. Flynn at the blue line. Looking for Knight down low. He lets it go by. Moore behind the net. Bartlett. Back to Moore. Q. Bouncing puck. And Flynn got a piece of it that went wide. Flynn. Moore taps that one up front. Knight can't keep it in. And now it's a foot race. KC will get to the puck first. He goes to the outside. His shot. That goes off the skate of Loveless. Less than a minute to go in the Poitiers minor. 5.30 left in the third. Moore. Cross ice, that's off the, off the stick of Ferguson. Ferguson crosses up with Richard. Shot. Blocker saved by Loveless. Rebound. That goes behind the net. Around the near side of the boards. Arsenault gets bumped. Gets the puck once again in neutral ice. Rabat. Richard, all four Coyote players in their own zone. Richard tried to go cross ice. That was tipped off the stick of Sahash Paul. Best. That goes between the legs of Richard. Loveless. Over to Alex French. That bounces over his stick. Penalty is over. We're back at even strength. LeBlanc. Best. Best tied up in the corner by two Coyote players. Puck squeaks out. Jayet. Over to Alexis Mayet. Mayet, centering pass, nobody there, and scores! That puck bounced, and it goes on the stick. 
That is Sebastian Gould, and the route is on. Less than four to go, eight, one for the Kent Coyotes. Pass tipped in by Savoie. O'Toole Diddle. Puck is dug out into neutral zone. Mayette. Lead pass, looking going cross ice. That's block Collins. We'll bring it in. He's got Rowe. Rowe collides with LeBlanc. Rowe with the puck. The Blaze just trying to get something positive here in the last few minutes of this game so that they can bring it over to tomorrow afternoon's game, tomorrow afternoon's matchup. We got to check him from behind, and that's going to invite everybody into the corner. Tempers are boiling. Between these two teams. <laughs> Savoie. Savoie will go to the dressing room as well as Roe. Collins in the penalty box. All of this with 3.08 left in the third period. Take the opportunity to talk about the last day of the round robin part portion of the 2022 Don Johnson Cup. Action will start tomorrow at 12 noon, 12.30 in Newfoundland. It is uh, the Antigonish Bulldogs, the lone, the undefeated team. In this tournament so far, they got a 2-0 record. They play two games tomorrow. Tomorrow at 12 against the Sherwood Metros. And for the Metros, uh, it could be a must-win situation for them. They've got one win, but they would need to get at least a loss, a win or a loss in overtime or regulation if they want to tie the Coyotes. Coyotes are in the driver's seat. They will have four points. They will be in fourth place in the round robin. So that game will be extremely important for the Sherwood Metros. Four o'clock, 4.30 on the rock. It'll be Mount Pearl against the Moncton Vitos. Vitos are two and one. And the final game will be Antigonish against Moncton. That game at 7.30. Ferguson, his shot, that's blocked by Loveless. Rolling puck over to LeBlanc. Robert. He'll bring it up. Robert. He'll just send it in deep. That's off the boards. Bouncing puck next to Loveless, and he'll freeze it. 229 left. 122 to go in the Coyote power play. 10 minutes is on the Flint sends the puck over the glass and out of play. I think the face off once again in the blade zone. Number 15, Noah Rowe. This minute, Conduit North is 14. 10 minutes is coming penalty. A 5-5-2 at 16-52. Earnshaw. LeBlanc had a hard time playing the pass. Flynn couldn't get it out of his own zone. Saunier 
Sonier slows things down. Cross ice pass, shot that's wide. And Miguel Richard just teed that one up on a quick wrist shot. Richard in the slot, Sonier. Leblanc, Sonier. Leblanc, cross ice looking for Richard. Flynn falls to the ice. The Blades can't get the puck out of their own zone. 140 left here in the third. Leblanc shot blocked in front. And a hand pass. Blow the play dead. Face off will be in neutral ice. So the Coyotes are 134 away of having their first win of the Don Johnson Cup. But with that shootout loss Tuesday night to the Mon against the Moncton Vitos, they got that important point. And they will have four points after tonight's contest. They're one point in front of the Sherwood Metro. Their lone win was against the Coyotes last night. Mount Pearl sends the puck out of their own zone. That was off the stick of Moore. Robert. Robert. Stick handling the puck. Leaves it for Pastarache. Penalty is over. We're back at even strength in the slot. KC takes the shot that's blocked. Robert shot save Dantrema. Uh, save Loveless. 60 seconds exactly left in the third period. Puck is rifled out, icing called against the Metros. Sorry, against the Blades. Flynn thought, he looked at the clock, he thought it was still a penalty kill. That's why he sent it out 200 feet. Flynn played a great game tonight for the Blades. That is Knight. Knight, his shot off the blocker of LeBlanc. Hardy. Puck is in deep. Arsenault to LeBlanc. Flynn comes back in his own zone. Final 15 of this third period, LeBlanc. He'll just send it in to the right, to the left of Loveless. Hardy will just keep the puck in the back of the net. And we'll just let the last seconds of the clock expire on a 8-1 convincing win for the Kent Coyotes. Both teams will line up at their respective blue lines for player of the game announcements. And it'll be regroup, refocus for tomorrow's action. Nicholas French. Nicholas French got the long goal for the Mount Pearl Blades. Gets player of the game for for the blades. Sebastian Gould, player of the game. Got a couple of goals tonight for the Coyotes. 8-1 win for Kent. And that's it for us here at uh, the Cocaine Arena. Once again, the final this evening. 8-1 for the Kent Coyotes. They get their first win of the tournament. The Blades fall to 1-2. and two. And action will start tomorrow afternoon at 12. Antigonish will face Sherwood. At 12, at 4 o'clock, 4.30 in Newfoundland. 
Mount Pearl will face Moncton and Kent will finish off the round robin against Antigonish. That game at 7.30 Atlantic. That's it for us here at the Cocaine Arena. I'm Roger Surrett saying so long and until tomorrow.